this video to start. Now, really quick guys, before we get into the video, I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to each and every one of you guys that support the channel. I really appreciate it. It means a lot to me. We are slowly growing and getting bigger by the day. So thank you guys. And if you haven't guys, and you enjoyed this content, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so that you can stay up to date with all the videos that I do, especially with the ZL1 and it's been such an amazing car guys if you haven't checked out the previous video this thing ran a 1039 at 130 miles an hour in about 2500 da with just the new beadlock ventura rear and full drag pack in the front with seat out and just an intake full ecm and tcm tune and some e55 so today before we can go out to the track and while we let this dry guys I am going to do one thing that we definitely should have done at the very beginning and that is install this K-Tech 174 degree thermostat. It's super super simple to do it on these cars so I'll kind of show you guys real quick how to do it. And on top of that guys, if I haven't said it, pray performance, Brett, you are amazing and definitely know what you're doing with these gen 5 lts like i said he's got this car running low tens on practically stock just intake only and doing really really well which is amazing for a zl1 that is still right at 4,000 pounds so he actually looked over the logs and sent me a new revision that's supposed to be a little bit spicier and should help me get a little bit faster so I'm excited to try that out. So between the new revision and this 174 thermostat, hopefully we can keep our ITs and our temps down slightly and get a better time today, guys. The thermostat, guys, is right here. So it's housed right in front, right on top. And you've got one, two, and then a third bolt down here. And the key to not spilling a lot of fluid is actually using some vice grips or clamps and clamping down on this hose and somewhere around here on this big hose and that'll kind of keep the pressure and not let fluid from here flow all the way back out and spill all over the place that is what i found lethal garage has a good tutorial on this so if you haven't you guys can go check him out he has a lot of videos on camaros and that's where i got that trick from put back the thermostat again super easy so now that is done so i'm gonna go ahead and load up the whole new tune get everything ready and then i'll catch you guys at the track so we are at the track just got here just checked in and not even gonna let the car cool down all we did again was put the thermostat and did the new revision tune so pretty much hot off the press we're just gonna go let this see what this will do right off the street and then we can let it cool down and see what it'll do all right so go get our burnout done all right put it in drive and let's see what it'll do all right guys the very first time you go down the track on a new flashed ecm or tcm it is gonna be a little different uh but that still hit pretty damn hard let's go let this car cool down put some ice on it and see what it did at the track on its first run just got through that very first run super crazy hot lap my manifold intake temps were all the way up to 172 170 so really hot, my IAT2s were in the 140s. The actual intake temp, they started at 140 and actually dropped down to 100 by fifth and the end of the run. But I mean, it was still super hot. This thing is burning up. So uh, the draggy shows 2000 feet. It's always about 500 feet lower than the tracks DA. It still ran a 1053 at 131.5 with a 160, 60 foot. 
Now, if we look at the track time here, we did a 154 60 foot, which is slower than we have, but it still did a 677 in the eighth at 105 miles an hour. So it was pretty good, but it definitely fell off towards the end on the top end because of how hot it got under there. So it went a 1050 at one, still 130 miles an hour, which is the best I've seen at the track mile an hour wise. So just gonna have to see what it'll do once we cool it down, guys. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is go get a bag of ice, lay it on top of the blower. I did bring my fan with the batteries and stuff. So we're gonna put the fans on and really let this thing cool down. I mean, the track is pretty much empty. So we can let this thing cool down for an hour or so. And I'll show you guys the cars that are out here while we do that. Hellcat charger on a rear drag pack. Mustang today for some money, so um, yeah, we'll see how they do, guys. This shit here brings back so many memories. If you guys are OGs, y'all remember when I had the red G8 with the same CCW wheels? Oh man, I did have the HSV fenders, so that was a little different, and the paint was not as rolled up, but yeah, this thing is nice, brings back a lot of memories. Got an SS, and then also, there's also the white SS, so yeah, pretty much both cars that I used to have. <sighs> how to get our Z01 up in mile an hour to 137. Okay, so the bag of ice is pretty much all gone. And it, yeah, this thing is definitely cooled down. So we'll go ahead and get this car only in the staging lanes. The Again, there's and then no um, yeah, see what it'll do guys. Hopefully not a lot. this ice will really help it and we'll see what the, the car can truly do when it's nice and cool. All right, guys, we're going to be going up against the Hellcat, uh, Lime Green Hellcat. That'll be fun. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Should be a good run. I'm sure that Hellcat is probably going to beat us. It was running pretty good times. So our intake temps are about 97, manifold temps 130. So this is as best as it's going to get, guys. We'll see how it does. And like always, something happens where it delays everything and we got to wait which just ends up killing our times. Our intake temps are now getting close to 138. So it is what it is, but our IT2s look like they're at 100, which is good. Uh, they were at 140 at the beginning of the last run. So we'll see what happens. So now they got to pull this C6 out, which you'll see in a minute. Yes, we can eventually start. Got a good burn out there.
Well, there you have it. That's an, one of the ice down runs. Not the most ice down because obviously cars in front of us had issues. So we had to basically wait a lot longer. But the car still performed really good and we've got the draggy times here. So on the I draggy, it did the best night. ever. Bring up that front end. A 1070, a 1037 at 133. Hour, so the draggy low. has finally showed us 133 on the trap speed, which is pretty awesome. Now, when we look at the track time, you'll see we did another 150 flat 60 foot, which is the best we've done. We can't seem to get a 149. But it's a 150, a 664 to the eighth at 106.3, the highest mile an hour in the eighth. And also a 1033, which is the best it's done. It did a 1039 last time. So we're almost to a 102 um, at 130.7. So 131 miles. So better, the best mile per hour yet in 2,500 feet DA, 80%, really, really humid. Check it out, guys. When I say excessive does some pretty good work, yeah. Look at how these lines are. Everything looks super professional. I mean, this is what you get when you go to excessive. This car is pretty nice. It's got the bead locks. Probably looks like it's got meth, intake, headers, cam, pulley, ported blower with the 103 throttle body. Oh yeah, let's see what this will run today. All right, we've got the Hellcat. And we got a cam down ZL1. looks like it spun off the line all right so third and final pass we put the last remaining ice on it so it's cool i can touch it it's not burning me up um, everything's pretty cool chilly hopefully we'll be able to not wait and get a little bit of heat soak and see the weather's kind of cooled down a little bit so we're gonna run looks like a scat pack but really we just want to see if we can get that 10-2 pass here so hopefully we get it We'll see what happens. All right. We got a good burnout. Everything's good to go. Temps are pretty good. I... guys we ended up spinning on that run and just killed our whole time there last run right there was not what i wanted i was got a little bit of wheel hop and spun so my 60 foot was not the best and it showed on the track times so if we look at the track times here on the draggy we ended up with a 1056 at 133 it's not too bad and then when we look at the track times we did a 163 60 foot, 685, 106 to the eighth. So the mile an hour is really good. And then a 1054 at 131. So we actually are up in mile an hour by a, almost a mile and a half compared to last week in similar DA. So that update on the tune by Brett, um, the ECM and TCM tune did help a little bit. And obviously it's hard to compare one night to the other, but the car picked up about, I would say a mile, uh, an hour with that little bit of a revision tune and it wasn't anything drastic or anything like that um, so that's pretty awesome and I'm really happy with the car so now that we got a good baseline good running numbers it's time to go ahead and add headers and do again step by step all that stuff now we do have to take this thing to the dyno before we add the headers because we haven't dynoed it with E85 to really see what the car is making and that'll give you guys a good idea of basically what the car is making and what it's running with the power that it's making so got a bunch of stuff coming up and hopefully you guys enjoyed this content make sure if you haven't like the video consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so that you can stay up to date with all the videos and all the stuff we do to the zl1 it's going to be awesome and i can't wait to show you guys the potentials that these zl1s have because 
they can do quite a bit i mean this thing is running low tens with just intake and a tune and some fuel so with that being said guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll catch you guys in the next one